Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be going over the Darman situation again because Darman has finally responded and I kind of want to follow up the video that I made two days ago with the response from Darman so you can kind of see his side of the story and make up your own mind. If you haven't seen the original video, I'll link it up in the top corner right here. Make sure to watch till the end so you get every bit of information. And yeah, without any further ado, let's get straight into it. First off, he starts by saying, hey, hashtag Darman fam. That's, that's a great way to address your apology letter. Um, I guess that is his fan base, but still. Uh, we want to address the recent protests by some of our actors. First off, we'd like to thank the many actors and fans who have reached out to show their support, gratitude, and solidarity to us. We truly appreciate you. I'm, I mean, I guess that's a way to start it. It didn't really address anything, but that's just the first paragraph, so we'll keep going. For background, we did arrange an in-person hour-long meeting with actor representatives and two of our most senior leaders, including our head of production, in hopes of understanding concerns prior to any protest. During that meeting, the actor representatives refused to communicate any concerns and walked out. We followed up with a request for written feedback and never received a response. So this is where I guess it gets confusing, which I'm reading this for the first time as well. Actor representatives refused to communicate and walked out. That That's interesting because that's a completely different side of the story. They said that Darman didn't even show up, which I guess this doesn't say that Darman showed up. He just said we arranged an in-person hour-long meeting, and he does not say that he showed up, which is kind of weird. He never says that he did, but he never says that he didn't. So, yeah, the fact that he's leaving that out makes me a little suspicious. I don't know why he would word it like that unless he wasn't there. I, that's so, because apparently he was literally on a private jet to Aspen, so uh, that's kind of funny. In regards to actor compensation, we believe, we believe we pay our actors competitively compared to our peers. Our rates for actors vary. Extras receive 18 an hour, that's not bad, and speaking role actors receive 33 to 44 dollars an hour. It's not terrible. The extras get quite a bit, dang. We are proud to have given thousands of actors job opportunities, and last year alone paid millions of dollars in actor compensation. Would make sense. I mean, you have to kind of, at that level of production, you're going to be spending money. That's not a surprise. Actors by nature work for many different production companies. We offer project-based opportunities that vary from a few hours to long to a few days. We do not offer full-time positions. Oh, interesting. As we try to spread around opportunities and show a wide range of faces. But there's been actors that have, like, been on a lot of them for a long time. So how is that not full-time? All details, including pay rate and length of the production, are specified in the offer letter, and the actor has the freedom to accept or decline the project. If accepted, actors are always paid shortly after production wraps, typically within 72 hours. I don't remember that being the problem, is how long it took for them to get paid, but yeah, I guess he mentioned that too. He's, he's really putting in unnecessary information and then leaving out a bunch of crucial information, so it's kind of not looking good. We highly encourage feedback and have many outlets for actors to express their concerns, including anonymous actor surveys we send out on after productions wrap and anonymous actor feedback boxes in our studios. We receive an overwhelming amount of positive feedback and very high ratings. Any concerns we address quickly. Yesterday, a group of protesters interfered with two productions that were taking place. Did they interfere? They were standing outside and protesting. I'm so sorry that that <laughs> rained on your parade. Like... And who's saying he was even there? He hasn't said that he's been present for any of this. We want to apologize to the crew members and actors affected by those protesters and for the stress it may have caused. He's not even apologizing to the <laughs> to the people that are protesting. He's apologizing to the crew members that weren't protesting. He's completely dodging it. We thank you all for your support and understanding. More information can be found on our stories. Considering this isn't like a video apology, this this would be, I think, this is a this is a pretty bad apology, I'm not gonna lie. This isn't like Jake Paul or James Charles level, but this is not a good apology. He just dodges everything and either blames other people or like leaves out important information. Because like if he put in like a few more like details, I would have been like, okay, he's fine. But the fact that he left some of the stuff out, like his presence and all this is just kind of sketchy. I, I don't know if this is uh, necessarily the protesters fault, like he's saying. I feel like there's something else going on here and this isn't like the complete story but yeah thank you all for watching to the end uh i hope you learned something it says here that more information can be found on the stories but that's just it's basically like the same thing but like formatted differently this is just like the big text version of it but yeah if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more and i'll keep you updated if anything else happens i'll see you in the next video peace